With the playoff field cut in half, we're down to eight championship hopeful drivers with only four races remaining until we crown the 2020 NASCAR Cup Series champion. The field's back on the mile and a half, so 400 miles going on the board from the Kansas Speedway, where one of these eight championship hopeful drivers looks to tap their heels twice and be locked in to the championship four. This is your full race preview of everything to expect from the round of eight playoff opener to Hollywood Casino 400 at the Kansas Speedway, the round of eight opener for the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Let's have a look at those eight playoff drivers with the points reset entering this round of eight. Kevin Harvick, he resets to the top of the board. A 45-point lead over the cut line. Gotta believe the closer is already eyeing up the championship four. Denny Hamlin in a number 11 car, 32 points ahead of the cut line. Same story for him, although for these two drivers, no points lead is safe here in the round of eight. Anything can happen, and they can find themselves below the cut line. Brad Kozlowski, he sits third in the standings, 13 points over the cut line. That number two car with a solid advantage entering the this playoff opener, but keep an eye out for anything to change around this cut line, especially with Chase Elliott being five points in over Joey Logano, who is five out. This battle could change easily as well. Elliott picked up the win last Sunday at the Charlotte Roval, his third of the season. Martin Truex Jr., he's 10 points below the cut line right now in the six points position, but that does not mean he is in the championship four. But again, Kansas one of these strong tracks for the 19 car, so he is by no means out of the final four. Alex Bowman, he drives that 88 car 18 points behind the cut line. These playoff points can easily swing, but you got to believe he's going to be looking to get that win. And Kurt Busch, he's the eighth driver in the standings, 21 points behind the cut line, looking to pull off another miracle round opening win and lock himself into the final four. Also a chance that he could point his way into the championship race. Now let's have a look at your TV schedule for the Hollywood Casino 400. All of your racing action goes down on Sunday, October 18th, 2020 at 2.30 p.m. The Hollywood Casino 400 takes the green flag live on NBC. And now, here's a look at your 39-driver NASCAR Cup Series field as their take to the Kansas Speedway. Driving for Starcom Racing in the Creek Enterprises Double Zero Chevy, this will be rookie driver Quinn Hauf. Then for Chip Ganassi Racing, their duo of Chevys rolls like this. The Monster Energy number one sees round of eight playoff driver the outlaw Kurt Busch. And driving the Avent Health Breast Cancer Awareness number 42, this is Matt Kenseth. Team Penske's in action with their trio of Fords with the discount tire number two seeing round of eight driver Brad Kislowski. Then in the Menards, number 12 YRB Ryan Blaney driving in a shell pencil on number 22 another one of our round of eight contenders this is sliced bread Joey Logano in the Richard Childress Racing Stable their duo of Chevys roll like this the American Ethanol number three sees Austin Dillon and in the Caterpillar number eight that's rookie driver Tyler Reddick out of the Stuart Haas Racing Stable their four car Ford Brigade rolls off like this the Jimmy Johns number four sees the closer Kevin Happy Harvick your points leader and then in the Smithfield number 10 this is A squared Eric Almarola making his final start at his home track, driving into the Cal number 14. This is Emporia, Kansas's Clint Boyer, and in the Haas tooling number 41, rookie driver Cole Custer. For Rush Fenway Racing, their duo of Fords looks like this: in the High V Coca-Cola number six, the Rocket Man Ryan Newman, and in the Fastnail Breast Cancer Awareness number 17, Texas's Chris Busher. Driving for Tommy Baldwin Racing, he's in the Insurance King Back the Blue number seven. This is going to be driver Josh Balicki. Event for Hendrick Motorsports, Stir Cortez. Of Chevy's looks like this. In the Napa Auto Parts number nine, winner here in 2018, and last week's winner at the Roval, this is Chase Elliott. And in the HendrickCars.com number 24, we have William Byron making his final Kansas start, driving into Ally Financial number 48, the seven time series champion Jimmy Johnson. And in the Chevy Goods number 88, this is the showman Alex Bowman. Joe Gibbs Racing brings their quartet of Toyotas like this. In the FedEx office number 11, winner of the past two races here at Kansas, this is Denny. Hamlin and in the M&M's Halloween number 18 the two-time and defending series champion Kyle Busch driving into Bass Pro Shops number 19 MTJ Martin Truex Jr. and in the Reese's Fine Foods number 20 that's the Jones boy Eric Jones right out of the Jermaine Racing Stable and the Geico number 13 Chevy we have Welcome North Carolina's Ty Dillon and then for Rick Ware Racing their quartet of entries are all like this in the Fried Solutions, number 15 Chevy, we have rookie Brandon Poole. Then at the wheel of car number 27, this is going to be the Ford of J.J. Yaley. Driving into number 51 Agri Supply Entry, we have Cedar Rapids, Iowa's Joey Gase. And in the Signing Day Sports, number 53 Chevy, it's driver James Davison. The Wood Brothers are in action with car number 21, the Wranglers Menard Ford, seeing Guido, Matt DiBenedetto. And then for Go Fast Racing into Plan B Sales Foundation, number 32 Ford, it's Super Shoes, Corey LaJoy. For Front Row Motors, 
Sportster Duo Fords looks like this. The Love's Travel Stops number 34 has Michael McDowell. And driving in the Speedy Cash number 38, rookie driver John Hunter Nemechek. JTG Darty Racing brings their duo of Chevys to the track like this. With the Kroger number 37 seeing Ryan Priest. And at the Wheel of the NOS Energy Drink number 47, that's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Richard Petty Motorsports has the number 43 Cash App Chevy of Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr. And then for MBM Motorsports, their duo of Toyotas in action like this. In Las Vegas, that Cole Bandit, number 49 Toyota. This is Chad Fincham. And driving to RoofClaims.com, number 66, it's Timmy Hill. For Spire Motorsports and the Four Year Health, number 77 Chevy, we have driver Reed Sorensen at the wheel. And for Levine Family Racing and the Germania Insurance, number 95 Toyota, rookie driver Christopher Bell. And capping off our entry list into GM Manufacturing, number 96, a brand new sponsor for Monterey, Mexico's Daniel Suarez. Now let's have a look at your Speedway Collective Fantasy Picks, a pair of drivers out of each category that I expect to bring some points home to your fantasy team. In the A-Class, I'm taking a pair of Joe Gibbs Racing Drivers. Denny Hamlin, he's won the past two at this track. Very strong at Kansas. Keep an eye out for him to lock himself into the Final Four. And I'm taking a driver outside of the playoffs here for my second A-Class driver. Give me the 18 of Kyle Busch. The pressure's off as he's been eliminated from the playoffs. Now the defending series champion is just looking to get that first win on the season. Kansas, a strong track for him. This 18 team Team might be able to get it done as your A-class driver. On to the B-class, I like the other Bush. Kurt in the number one, won the round opener last round in the round of 12 at Las Vegas. He might be able to pull off the upset again here at Kansas. Keep an eye out on the out while certainly not out of this playoff hunt. And the number 14 of Clint Boyer, another non-playoff driver there in my B-class, I like the looks of him. This is his final start at his home track. Always runs well here at Kansas, so keep an eye out on that DeKalb, number 14. On to the C-Class, the pair of Rash Fenway Racing drivers once again is my backbone here. The fast nail number 17 of Chris Busher and the high V number 6 of Ryan Newman. Both these drivers very solid at Kansas here in the spring. Keep an eye out on them to bring home more solid performances. And in the D-Class, I like the looks of rookie John Hunter Nemechek in that 38. A fellow rookie contender, Cole Custer in the 41. One. Again, both these drivers bringing home solid runs here in the spring and in the Xfinity Series their past couple years. Nemechek actually an Xfinity Series winner here in 2018, so keep an eye out on this pair of rookie contenders. And now let's have a look at your race stats ahead of the Hollywood Casino 400, where the field stacks up for 267 laps, 400 miles around the 1.5 mile Kansas Speedway. Stage 1 and Stage 2 go for 80 laps. The final stage will be 107 laps, and your defending race winner is Denny Hamlin. Don't forget to catch the 2020 Hollywood Casino 400 coming live on Sunday, October 18th at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Cup Series race preview video. For more British sports content, check out my newest video by clicking on the left. Hit that circle in the middle to subscribe and check out that video on the right. It's one you don't want to miss. You can follow me on Twitter at Kemo Cup Series of another NASCAR race preview video. This has been Kemo on YouTube saying thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next motorsports video.